my name is Nate Oldham, and uh, my day job during the week is I work at uh, Mac Charities right here in Manchester. And um, I've been there a little bit over a year at this point, and uh, I'm the Community Engagement Coordinator. And the um, best way to really understand what that means and unpack it is uh, basically I oversee volunteers, I help with event planning and execution, and um, I do uh, the communications, you know, social media, writing, press releases, all that kind of stuff. I didn't want to just do photography. I feel like there's a lot of people out there who are photographers, many of them very good at what they do. And uh, I, I really wanted to take it a step further and marry my business model with my faith. And so what I decided to do in a practical way was uh, every couple that I met with for a wedding or family that I met with, I would present them with an organization that we were partnering with for that year. So in the past, I think last year, we partnered with Orphan Justice Center out of Kansas City. And this year, we're partnering with Love 146 out of New Haven. I mean, they, they do work globally as well. Um, and the reason we partner with them is because um, there's a particular scripture that uh, says true religion is this to take care of the orphan and the widow. And um, that's always stuck out in my head. And so when I was thinking about my business and about how I was going to marry it to my faith, um, I realized that I wanted to particularly focus on um, the orphan. And so that's why last year we partnered with OJC. This year we partnered with Love 146. And their goal is to end sex trafficking and abolish slavery. It's an audacious goal, but um, I think it's one worth investing in. So basically what we do is we, um, the way that we partner with these organizations and my business helps them is that we tell people about them first of all, we help kind of spread the news of what they do. So we'll, we'll link to their websites, I'll tell people when I sit down with them about who we partner with and what they do. And then we also get 10% of every wedding and every portrait session that we do to these organizations as well. I ended up going to a conference, I think it was last year, in 2012, and it was one of those, I didn't really want to go, I mean I wanted to go because the guy who invited me, you know, I knew him and I was like, ah, you know, this might be kind of fun to hang out, but the conference itself I wasn't really too ecstatic about, and uh, you know, it just goes to show you, you, know, you shouldn't go into things with expectations because um, within just a few minutes this guy had just sent out this one liner that you know stuck into me like a like a dart to a dartboard and has left and I was like oh my goodness it has totally changed the way I see things over the past few years and um, the line that he said was if there is an area of your life where you don't have glimmering hope then you're believing a lie and that was the line and you know it's not like it came out of a book somewhere it's not like it was in scripture it was just this truth that just painted it clear as day and totally changed things since then and the word that he focused on is if you don't have glimmering hope and I was like man glimmering is kind of a cheesy word you know <laughs> it's like, what's this guy talking about but he said that the whole reason he says that is because like you're the hope that you're supposed to have and experience on a day-to-day -day basis is supposed to be glimmering it's supposed to be shining it's supposed to be bright like your hope is supposed to be something magnificent that you're able to focus on and move towards is supposed to drive you and if you don't have that then there's probably an area where you're living a lie. I love my family. Um, I have a beautiful wife who we actually met through church and uh, we're married in 2010 actually at Wickham Park in Manchester um, and uh, she's been my biggest supporter in all of this. She has, um, she's always pushed me you know when I feel like being whiny she tells me to buckle up when I you know I'm stressed out she knows how to calm me down and get me back on track so she she's just an amazing woman and we have a little boy Elijah who's just about to uh, turn to on July 4th actually totally fits his personality by the way he's, he's a firecracker he's just non-stop you know around the house and, um, so yeah I just I absolutely love my love my family they're everything to me there's nothing better for me than going home at night and getting a hug and a kiss from both of them.